Hey everybody, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. So today what I'm doing, I'm going to make a piece of aluminum trim that's going to go on my scamp trailer door to match the belly band that goes around the trailer. Because uh, right now it looks unfinished where the two colors meet. So I'm going to uh, go check out a store that's not too far from where I live and it has a lot of metal. And I want to see if I can find that metal like they used in the belly band. If not, we're just going to find some sheet metal and bend it ourselves. But anyways, let's go check this out. Come along with me. Found some. It's the same size. Now I don't have to make it. I was going to have to bend it. Now I can just use this channel. Every size metal you could think of is here. And this is what we found for our trailer right there. Okay, so it's very important that this angle gets met but you know the opposite going this this direction even though when we open the door it comes out I don't want the metals to touch each other so I'm gonna make a pattern okay see that that's our angle. So we're going to transfer that. We're going to make it work there and the same angle down on this end. All right, I cut my pattern. It's going to go just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it where go ahead and mark it. Okay, now here's the thing. So now this piece has to stick out longer so it can get folded over this side. So I just need to measure that and go from here out, cut it, bend it, and we're gonna go see how it looks. Here's what it looks like after I cut it. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my file and I'm just shaping this curve a little bit more. And then I'm going to uh, cut the other end. And then we're gonna, my, my piece is cut. And then I went ahead and I um, did a light sand on this because I wanted to match what I have on the trailer, which is 44 years old. And this was really shiny. Now it looks like dull aluminum. Here's the other piece. I'm gonna fold these over and then uh, see how they work. Okay, what we're doing now, we're going to fiberglass. I always cut about a quarter inch off of these. Actually. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix up some fiberglass. I'm gonna fiberglass a little piece of wood to the trailer door 
that the piece of aluminum is going to attach to. MEKP, surface seal, chop strand, fiberglass matting. Okay. Now this piece of wood is getting fiberglass to the trailer so I could attach my molding to it, my aluminum molding. I don't want to drill a bunch of here holes and then I can just maybe stuff. attach it underneath with some small screws. All right, I fiberglassed this piece of wood to the door, top and bottom. I'm not worried about all this. I'm going to sand all that off. And then I'm going to lightly sand that. And when we do our colors, we're going to touch it up. Okay, it's the next our morning. And trim over here. And I'm sanding all the fiberglass. I'm trying to get it really smooth so that my channel will fit right on. All right, here's our piece of metal. It's all ready to go, our piece of aluminum, ready to go on the trailer. But what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put a little more patina on it because it, you can see all the sandpaper lines and stuff. And I also wanna make it look older than it is. So I'm gonna use steel wool with WD-40. Let's wipe it down and see how it looks. Yeah, look at that. That's just what I wanted. It just looks kind of aged. At least 44 years old, right? So now what we're going to do, we are going to drill some holes in here, probably three or four. Right, so I can put some little screws in and adhere this, cleaning the screws. excess glue off into our wood. Now there it is, it's on and it isn't coming off. It's glued on pretty securely with screws. And uh, the nice thing is I didn't have to put any holes in the door. So I'm just gonna keep cleaning this up and uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to shine some of this other stuff up too. It's starting to get all dull. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing that. But, uh, Basically, I guess I can say, except for the little bit of cleanup, this, this project's finished because all I wanted was trim on my door, and now I have trim on my door. And uh, I am going to have to do a little bit of paint touch-up. We'll do that in another video soon. And then I still have to sand all this really smooth, too. So... That is that, everybody. Thank you, all my new subscribers. And if you have any questions or you want to leave a comment or you want me to contact you, anything, just 